right, it is time for another running book review. And not just any running book, but in my opinion, the most important running book ever written. <laughs> and that is Daniel's Running Formula. And it's the fourth edition. All right, so I'm obviously a huge fan of this book. And so I, I saw that there was a new edition that came out. I read this one a few years ago, the third edition, made a review as well. When I saw that the fourth edition was out, I was like, I need to get my hands on that ASAP. So I actually sent an email to the Human Kinetics, the publisher, and asked them if they wanted to send me a book for reviewing it, and they did. So full disclosure, I did receive this book for free, but I am an honest uh, fan of the whole system and the book, and I'm gonna give you an honest review. You can of course check out Human Kinetics, there's a link in the description if you wanna check out some of their books. And uh, they got a lot of good books. So let's take a look at the book, why it's awesome. And then uh, we'll also talk about what's different in the new book compared to the first book or the third edition, actually. This is the most important running book ever written. Why? How oh, to say that in a simple way. Because it gives you a precise, scientifically valid prescription on how to train to become a better runner, okay? Um, instead of vague descriptions of intensities and you know you should run this hard about like you run steady for an hour that sort of thing this book actually takes your recent race performances and from that calculates the different paces that you should run at and and of course Jack Daniels the, the author explains very well what type of training you should do to become a better endurance athlete and at what type what kind of intensities uh, you should train at and exactly why you should train at that particular intensity and, and not another intensity for example so it sort of takes a lot of that sort of guesswork and and stuff out of training and just gives you a really solid prescription that works has worked for me has worked for a lot of people all right i am a certified uh, v dot coach that's jack daniel's certification for coaches uh, and if you're interested in my coaching uh, there's a link in the description as well so if you want to get an online coach that uh, sort of specializes in the in the whole uh, VDOT system, then please hit me up there. Anyway, so let's just look at the, the, the index here or the, 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 the contents just to get an idea of the different chapters. So essentials of running success, training principles and tips, physiological and personal training profiles, types of training and intensities, VDOT system of training, uh, so different, you know, you, you learn a lot about different concepts of training, good principles to stick to, how training works, you know, what happens in the body and why do you get faster or slower? And there's a lot of cool visual sort of figures and stuff that sort of shows you um, in very simple terms, like how different types of training work. And then of course, there's the famous V dot tables which um, you know you, you have a race performance and then you find your your VDOT number and then it'll give you equivalent performances uh, on, on other distances uh, and also the different intensities that you should train at for best possible effect. Uh, there's also a bunch of plans in here, training plans. Um, they look a little daunting perhaps because there's a lot of numbers and stuff in there but they're actually very simple. Compared to other plans and stuff, this is like the simplest and, in my opinion, the most effective way to train. Um, and so the, the, the latter chapters in the book uh, are called things like 800 meters, 5k to 10k, marathon, right? So it's just a chapter on a specific distance and how to train for that distance. Of course, most of endurance training is pretty similar across the board. But there are, of course, nuances between, you know, uh, someone training for a, an 800 meter versus a marathon, although there are a lot of similarities too. So it's just overall a really, really good system for training. Um, who should not get this book? Well, I think pre pretty much everyone should get it actually. But if you are a beginner runner or, or someone who is interested only in running without really worrying about the pace, not even running with a running watch, you don't care about your performance or anything, you just want to run to be healthy and you want to be out in nature, probably this book is not the, the book for you. This book is probably more geared towards the performance-oriented runner, uh, someone who's interested in improving their performance, 
uh, maybe if you like numbers, right? If you like measuring things and keeping track of data from your training and uh, just science. Okay, so yeah, anyone interested in improving their running performance, uh, definitely get this book. There's also a, a platform actually called the V.02 platform for coaches. I use it myself, but you can also use it just as an athlete for free where you can plan your training. And if you're my client and I'll plan your training in that calendar and we can interact there as well. There's a link to that in the description as well. The V.02 platform. So awesome book, awesome book. What's different though in this book compared to the third edition? Well, it's, it's mostly very similar. Okay, it's, it's, it's mostly exactly the same, but there are a few minor differences here and there. I'm not going to go through all of them. So for example, in the third edition, there's a half marathon chapter, whereas in the fourth edition, there's a 15 K to 30 K chapter more, you know, generally applying to this, to all those distances. And that program, the 15 K to 30 K program is, um, a little different from the other programs. So it's, it's just a very simple approach. So I, I've heard Jack say about his approach in these, in the books that, um, he wants to give people a lot of different options in terms of how to train. So uh, what you'll see is, is throughout the book, you'll see that there's a lot of, a lot of times he repeats himself, but maybe in a slightly different way. So he's just sort of, it's, it, this is a sort of download from his, his brain to yours, right? And he's a running expert and a, and a physiologist, exercise physiologist as well. So uh, it's just, he's just giving you a lot of different options on how to train and it's, I think it's really good. There's different pictures in the new book. So he's changed out the pictures, that makes sense. Freshen it up a little bit. I haven't studied the exact training plans yet uh, to say if there's any differences of the details in the plan, but even if there is, it's still going to be mostly the same. Plus, you know, the goal is never really with this system or any plan to follow it exactly. It's, it's to, it's to give you an idea of this is how you could train, but then you have to optimize it to fit you and your training at any given time along your training cycle. And so, um, there's no need worrying about the details too much in a situation like this more just giving you an overview and then making your own plan according or, or copying this plan and then adjusting it to fit you. Some of the big changes is that there's a new chapter on ultra marathons, ultra distance. Uh, it's not really a very in-depth chapter on how to train for ultra distance. It's basically an interview with uh, Magdalena Boulay, one of the good ultra runners from the US. So it's, it's a good interview with her where she sort of lays down the general framework of how to train for ultra distances. There's also a chapter on triathlon, which uh, again, is not like super in depth, but it's, it's just a general uh, discussion on how to train and, and, and a sample schedule uh, for triathlon, but with the Jack Daniels style programming. Also very good. Every now and then through the book, I came across subtle changes in the wording or how, how something is explained. And sometimes there's some additional information, which I really enjoyed. I mean, I've re I've read this book a lot of times. Like uh, this book is, it's just, I, I've been looking through this book and reading this book over and over and over and over and over again for, for like for years, because it's just absolutely epic. Um, and so I notice when I look at this little details and stuff and yeah, I'm happy about it. I, any, any time I can get a slightly different view on the same thing uh, from Jack Daniels, I'm very happy because that means that I can understand a little bit more of how he's thinking and, and his approach to, to running. Of course, you never want to be stuck with just one approach. So it's not like I, um, I'm blind to everything else. I just look at Jack Daniels. I look at a lot of different other uh, coaches as well. I have my own opinions. Some of my opinions differ slightly from Jack Daniels's, obviously. Um, so it's, you know, I have a broad perspective on the situation, but it's just, I've never come across someone who has, uh, who, who I agree with as much as I do with Jack Daniels. That's, let's just put it that way. So some of the tables from uh, the third edition uh, is not in the fourth edition, etc. I would say probably if you're a, a, as big a fan of Jack Daniels as I am, you should have both these. Maybe I should actually probably get a, my hands on the first and the second edition too, just to just to broaden my perspective even more. 
I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, let's just say that if you are interested in training as optimally as possible, and if you like numbers, and if you like precision and um, science, then I urge you to get this book and study it. Take it slow, okay? Read through it, try to understand what you're reading, look at the numbers, spend time looking at the plans and get an understanding for the whole system because I really truly believe that as a runner, that system is, is, is the most powerful system out there. All right, that's it. A little bit of a long video, even though I didn't even get into the details of what the book is all about. Uh, I guess I'll leave that up to you yourself. Remember, check out my coaching website, check out Human Kinetics, the publisher, uh, if you wanna buy the book, uh, and also the, the V.02 coaching uh, training platform as well. All those links are in the description, as well as my Instagram and Strava and stuff like that. Post a comment below if you have any questions or if you have some thoughts you wanted to share about the latest edition. Thanks for watching as always and stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye.